So this is the Bunsen burner. The parts of the Bunsen burner are basic. This is the base. This is the base. And then the one at the bottom, this one at the center is your control for the gas. You loosen it up so that the gas from this part will go travel all the way to the burner to the barrel. Okay, so this is the barrel. The barrel is where the mixing of the gas and the oxygen gas takes place. So this is where the combustion reaction takes place. Below the barrel, there's something that you can loosen up. This is what we call the air inlet. So when you loosen it up, you are allowing the entry of the oxygen gas. When you allow more oxygen gas to enter, that means the more the combustion process will get completed. The more it gets complete, so the more, the hotter the flame gets. So you can loosen it up. There's a maximum point. Just make sure you don't detach it from the, you don't detach the barrel out from the burner or else the flame will explode in this part. So you have to make sure that you don't go all the way detaching the Bunsen burner. The default is the air hole has to be closed before you begin. Why? Because we don't want that when we light the Bunsen burner, the air coming out from the air hole will blow off the flame from the match. So we just want to start the flame right away. So you have to ensure first that the air hole is closed. And then ensure all the attachment from the gas nozzle here to the gas inlet from the primary outlet here. It's tightly attached and now you're ready. Just make sure that the parallel here, parallel means 90 degrees, means it's off. So you start with off all the time. If you smell something, that means there are leaks, do not proceed. So if you smell some, something, make sure you have to know where it, where it is, then turn it off before you use your match because it's gonna catch the fire. So now we're ready. So this is the match we're gonna use. You just need to slide this and then press it, click it, and then you're gonna get the flame. Wait, there. So now I'm ready, I'm gonna put it on top of the, on the mouth of the burner. And then I'm gonna slowly, slowly um, turn on the gas until I get a flame. Just slowly. There, Woo! there the sound. So this is not yet maximum parallel. If I maximize this, the flame gets higher. You see that? The flame is at highest point when it's parallel already. Now, what's the default color of the flame with the air hose closed? Can you describe it to me? It's yellow. So the yellow, of course, it's obvious it's yellow, right? It's yellow, yellow orange. So the yellow flame, the yellow flame is an indication that the combustion is still incomplete because there's no oxygen getting in. So this is the flame that produces soot. You know the black substance that stains the utensils? Mm -hmm. That's soot. We don't want that. So what we do in the lab is we don't use the yellow flame for heating. So we need to adjust. How do we adjust? We will hold the base, always hold the base. The base is cold. Don't be scared because it's cold. So it doesn't um, conduct the, the heat from the flame going down. So you hold the base, and then now you're ready to turn, to twist the air hole, to open it. When I slowly open it, look at what happens to the flame. So what happens to the flame? It turns blue. This is what we call a non-luminous flame. The luminous is the yellow, the non-luminous is this one. This is the blue flame, is the one advisable for heating. The more we go all the way up to maximize the entry of the oxygen, the more you'll see some flickering flame, some flickers on the flame, and that's what we call like a roaring blue flame, and you can hear it. So the, the, the more it roars, the hotter it gets. If you want to reduce the height of the flame, all you need to do is just adjust the gas outlet here. And then now it's reduced. So if you want to make it shorter, you can always adjust from here. Okay? You so if make I smokers. make it parallel, then it gets higher, and that's the blue flame. Now, when you are ready to turn it off, just for it to be ready to be used for the next um, user, you just close the air hose once again, close it, make sure it's tight, 
then you go back to your yellow flame and then you can turn it off adjust the air hose hold the base hold the base hold the base so what happens to the flame now? Some more. First, wait, wait, wait. First, we gotta make sure everything is tight. Make sure that thing tight. And then throw up the gas a little bit. <laughs> You have to have the fire and the thing. Uh oh! Bruh, <laughs> <laughs> turn it back up, man. Okay, there you go. Whoa, 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 then adjust the air hose. Adjust the air hose. Adjust the air hose.